What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Oscar De La Hoya says that, and Eddie Hearn says that, Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney showdown last weekend has done 972,000 pay-per-view buys, and it did a live gate of over 7 million. They are claiming that it broke the live gate of Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Roley Romero, which they fought in May of 2022, right? Um, so with that said, many people are questioning it um, because boxing fans to daytime are more concerned with how much boxers put in their pocket and how much um, ticket sales are sold, right? Rather than the actual fight itself, the actual competition in the ring. And to seeing the best fight the best. They're more concerned with how many tickets one fighter sold, how popular the other fighter is, how much more of value this fighter is, rather than actually seeing quality fights. So uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Eddie Hearn, they came out and they made this statement and everybody's bashing them. It said that Ryan Garcia came out and he said that he's made in this fight now with Devin Haney, he made more money than he made against Javante Tank Davis. He made $50 million is what he's saying, right? Uh, and Devin Haney says that he made over $35 million of the reported number. So the reported number is that Devin Haney made $35 million and Ryan Garcia made $50 million. Uh, and they broke the record, the live gate at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And so you're going to have uh, fake boxing fans and content creators out there looking to bash this, to water it down, okay, as much as they possibly can. Uh, unrealizing that you are actually downplaying and watering down the actual sport of boxing itself, okay? Uh, let's just say these numbers are fictional. Well, guess what? You never know the actual numbers of any fight, okay? Uh, with that said, it is said that Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia did 1.2 million pay-per-view buys with a live gate of 23 million. But who actually saw the live gate of 23 million and who actually saw the actual numbers, okay, from Showtime itself that said the fight did 1.2 million pay-per-view buys? Nobody, okay? Again, it's all off a of hearsay. So it all comes down to who you want to believe as a fan because at the end of the day, okay, it is never solid proof to anybody, okay? So it is all speculation. Uh, but when you uplift the sport, if you say that Tank Davis did 1.2 million pay-per-view buys with a $23 million gate, and you say that Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia did nearly a million pay-per-view buys with a, uh, uh, Eddie Hearn says it did $7 million gate, uh, Oscar says it did a $9 million gate, whatever the gate may be, they said that it broke Tank Davis' record. Well, that means the growth of the sport of boxing. So why wouldn't you want to see the growth of the sport of boxing? Why would you want to water down the sport of boxing? Because what you are trying to do is water down said fighter, okay, and downplay said fighter. At the same time, what you are doing is indirectly watering down the sport of boxing and saying that it is not worth anything and it's just a bunch of liars in the sport. Okay, so uh, how much they take home, the fans are directly responsible, the arena was packed. People are more complaining about, oh, the arena is going to be empty. Well, it wasn't empty. The Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York was not empty. Well, then people want to turn around and they'll tell you that, well, they gave away tickets. What does it matter to you? The NFL gives away tickets. The NBA gives away tickets. Major League Baseball gives away tickets. I just saw the New York Yankees are the uh, la creme de la creme when it comes to uh, sports franchises. The New York Yankees, okay? They just yesterday, just yesterday, they sent me uh, um, and many people in New York a deal where you could get Yankee tickets for six dollars. Again, let me say it again. You can get New York Yankee tickets for six dollars, six dollars to, to watch the New York Yankees. They have more championships than anybody in any franchise in any sport. So why would the New York Yankees give away the tickets for six dollars? The New York Yankees are the, the the premier sports team. Their Yankee hats are viral everywhere around the world. People wear New York Yankee hats. But they give away tickets for six dollars. 
Just yesterday, they sent me a deal because I go watch Yankee games every year with my children. And they just sent me a deal saying that they would give me tickets for six dollars. Six dollars. OK, so again, people want to now water down the sport of boxing. It's the wild, wild west and it's disgusting. Fans should be concerned with the quality of fight and the best fight in the best, period. Point blank and period. What Devin Haley made, what Ryan Garcia made, how many tickets sold is directly effective of the fans because you, the fans, are in control of the sport of boxing and you are the ones that are buying the tickets. So you're watering down yourself. And that's all I got for y'all. I hope these numbers are legit. I hope all the numbers are legit because I love the sport of boxing. And if you do, you want these numbers to be legit. You don't want to walk, water it down. So all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. So all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.